So this is part eight of nine, looking at the weekend I'm doing in South London. Um, I'm looking particularly at the afternoon now, mid-afternoon of the Sunday the 8th of November. I'm going to be doing a 75 to 90 minute workshop on forecasting by astrology. Um... You don't when you, when I say forecasting, you, first of all, you don't you don't mean prediction. It's impossible to predict the future unless you're one of that one in a million people who are genuinely psychic. And everybody who thinks they're psychic probably isn't. You're just very highly intuitive. Um, forecasting, yeah, people go, oh, so you think you're a fortune teller? Well, the curse of being an astrologer is that you're normally a misfortune teller. You point out to people what, what they're, what's, what's not working and then you give them advice on how they can turn it around and particularly not just what they can do but the best times. As my clients know, I'm not very good at forecasting events or situations but I'm brilliant with timings. So there's a number of different ways of looking at forecasting. There's um, a number of minor ways Lunar returns, eclipses. There's solar returns, which often is like a, a, a middle layer of the onion. It, it can give a guide as to how the coming year is going to evolve. And some people will travel around the world using astrocartography to make sure their solar return is in the best possible place for them. I think that's a bit ostentatious but hey if you want to do it fine but transits and progressions progressions deal with the growth of a soul from within i don't really use the progressed planets because i use secondary progressions not primary so i move the planets forward one day of that planet's movement for each year of life primary progressions you move all the planets forward the sun's movement over a day. So the pattern of a chart never changes, just the signs and houses that that pattern is in change. And I think that's a bit sterile. But the secondary progressions where you move all the planets forward one day of movement for each year of life. So the planet position 63 days after you're born relates to your 63rd year of life. That shows a lot. Now, a lot of planets don't move fast in that time. Most of them don't. So I only really use the planets when they're stationing, either through going retrograde or stopping going retrograde. But the progressed sun, which moves a degree a year, is a very good long-term indicator over three, four, five years at a time of individual soul growth and personal identity development. And the progressed moon, which moves one degree a month, 12 to 13 degrees in a year is a really good indicator for timing. When it triggers a major transit, events will happen. And it's a very good indicator of internal emotional situations at the month by month level. Transits, well, transits are the bread and butter of the working astrologer. Transits through the laws of cause and effect manifest as circumstances and events. Or rather, they don't so much manifest as factual events. They manifest as environments, situations, windows of opportunity that open up around you. Potentials. And if you choose to take them, you will thrive and prosper. And if you choose not to take them, you lose nothing. But that's more the positive transits. The challenging transits... They manifest as either direct circumstances that force you to deal with challenges or through more subtle background challenges that gradually wear you down over a period of time until you choose to either face it out and just put work your way through it or to make changes so that your life becomes easier. There is no such thing as fate or destiny or predetermination in my book. Other astrologers will disagree. They will go along with... Um, fate well they would be very more fatalistic I'm more free will orientated believing in self-determination and choice 
Other astrologers will go down the fate and destiny route, although many of them tend to gravitate more towards older Western astrology, like the 15, 1600s, and not use Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. Or, or they study Vedic astrology, which is more more along the lines of karma and destiny rather than Western astrology is. But transits are the key towards utilising the best times to make changes in your own life to become better than you have been. So I'll be doing this on the afternoon of Sunday the 8th. If you want to come along, there's still a few seats left. Steve at stevejudd.co